Hey YouTube, this is the Robin Hood Investor. Hope you had a great day of trading. As always, I really appreciate your support. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn about investing, subscribe to this channel. Today I'm going to talk about Amazon stock, ticker symbol AMZN. Make sure you stick to the end of the video for my opinion on this stock. So Amazon is currently priced at $3,005 per share. Past year, up 66.86%. Past five years, up 379%. So you can see capital appreciation is extremely high, a lot of opportunities for growth. Currently, this makes up 4.48% portfolio or $13,140. I'm up 120% on this position and I continue to have uh, recurring investments in Amazon. So I uh, put in $300 per week. Um, so I put in $1,200 so far in recurring investments. I'm down 5.12% since... October 7th, and this is a weekly recurring investment. But overall, I'm up 121%. Scrolling down a bit, you can see market cap is $1.5 trillion. P ratio is 88.9, <clears throat> and dividend yield is zero, which means they're reinvesting all profits back into growth. And overall, analyst ratings, you can see 94% is a buy rating, so pretty solid buy, a lot of potential upside. And actual earnings per share uh, last week, reported earnings is $12.37 earnings per share versus expected $7.41. So it beat uh, and performed very well in terms of earnings per share. Taking a look at the actual earnings report, you can see this is Q3 2020 financial slides, conference call results. And you can see free cash flow up 26% year over year, which is very solid growth from Q3 2019 to Q3 20 up 26% year over year. Great to see that double digit growth and cash flow less principal repayments trailing 12 months up 26% year over year. In terms of cash flow, uh, less equipment, finance, leases, and principal repayments and all other finance leases up 71% year over year, which is really great to see that kind of growth. In terms of shares, you can see um, it's pretty steady year over year, uh, 511 back in 2019 Q3 and 518 in Q3 2020. Net sales, you can see it's 96, that's a B as in billion. So 96 billion relative to 69 billion, um, which is up 37% year over year. Great to see that kind of growth. Net sales trailing 12 months, you can see up 31% year over year. And in terms of net sales trailing 12 months breakdown, North America made up 62%, international made up 12% and Sorry, 12% was AWS and 26% was international. So a lot of the sales went to domestic and then some international, a quarter of it, and then the remaining was AWS. So AWS is growing rapidly. Operating income, you can see up 96% year over year. Great to see that kind of operating income growth. Trillion 12 months, 38% year over year. Net income up 197% year over year, very solid growth. So it was 6 billion, 6.3 billion versus 2.1 billion back in Q3 2019. Uh, segment results, this is based specific to North America. You can see 39% year over year for uh, net sales. Operating income up 76% year over year. Great double digit growth. Same goes for international sales. 37% uh, year over year. Uh, operating loss, you can see 407 million. Now, AWS specifically up 29% year over year, net sales, operating income up 56% year over year. So, all across the board, AWS, International, and North America, all up year over year. So, very solid growth across the different business segments. Now taking a look at the financials, you can see annually up year over year from 2016 to 2019. Quarterly, you can see 
also very solid in terms of uh, quarter after quarter. Now taking a look at the analyst buy rating, it's at a 1.7. Average price target of $3,791 per share and current price is $3,004. So a lot of potential upside based on price targets. Taking a look at the financials key stats. Now for market cap, 1.5 trillion. Trailing price to earnings is 87. Ford PE is 66. Peg ratio is 2.47. Scrolling down a bit, you can see overall 52 week change up 68%. relative to the S&P 100, so it's like, it's doing better than the market overall, which is expected because it's a growth stock. A lot more volatile, higher beta. Share stats, you can see by held by insiders, that's about 15%. Held by institutions, about 57.69%. In terms of dividend yield, zero, which means they're re investing all profits back into growth. Now for profitability, profit margin is 5%, operating margin is 5.72%, return on assets is 5.17%, return on equity is about 25%. Revenue, you can see it's $349 billion. Revenues per share, 669. Uh, quarterly revenue growth year over year, 37%. Great number. Gross profit, 115 billion. EBITDA, which is earnings before interest tax, depreciation, amortization, is $43 billion. And you can see quarterly earnings growth year over year is 197%. Very solid. Total cash, $68 billion. Great to see that cash balance when it's tougher times. They can still maintain their business uh, when, they, when their revenue isn't as high. But Amazon has been doing very well in terms of growth, and they continue to have a solid balance sheet. Uh, total debt is 69 or 96 billion. Debt to equity is 116. So for every dollar they have in uh, equity, they have 116 in debt. Operating cash flow, 55 billion, and lever free cash flow is 33 billion. So overall, Amazon is a very solid growth stock to buy, no dividend yield, a lot of potential upside, a lot of, a lot of positive. Uh, sentiment across the analyst ratings and high price targets and my position I, i'm going to continue increasing my stake in amazon i think there's a lot of growth in the long term and i'm going to buy and hold my position long term that's all for this video what are your thoughts on amazon comment down below i'm going to use my referral links below and both of us get 20 dollars for using personal capital or a free stock for using Robinhood. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn about investing, subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.